the video is as clear as day. A man and a transgender woman struggling over a gun inside of a Detroit gas station. Well, the woman was shot and the man is now charged in that shooting. And today this video will be played in front of a judge. Local 4's Nick Monticelli joining us live now with what is happening in court today. Nick. Everett, good morning to you. This is a preliminary hearing to kind of go over the evidence in all of the case. What was really interesting when this started is that many in the community weren't sure if this attack, this shooting, was because the victim was transgender. It appears it is, at least that's what the prosecutor says, and we will hear more about it in court today. Almost every moment of the shooting on July 23rd was caught on the gas station surveillance video. The man you see is allegedly 29-year-old Deonton Rogers. Prior to this scuffle, prosecutors say he made a lewd remark to the transgender woman whose face we have blurred. There was an argument about her sexual orientation, and he allegedly pulled this gun from his waistband. As the victim struggled, the gun went off, and she was shot in the shoulder. The Wayne County Prosecutor's Office says Rogers sped off, leaving the girl he was there with behind. He is charged with firearm discharge causing serious impairment or injury, felonious assault, felony firearm, felon in possession of a firearm, child abuse in the fourth degree, and ethnic intimidation based on gender. The child abuse charge is because there was a child in the backseat of the car. The hearing is scheduled for this morning. Like I mentioned, we should hear some more details about what prompted this attack and if anything happened before the actual shooting or at least the scuffle inside of that station. We're live here downtown, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today. All righty, Nick, thank you for the update. We'll definitely be following this one.